Hi guys, good to have you all back and welcome to part 6 already of this Gunter Attaché lab book file folio flip thingy. <laughs> I was going to do it in 3, remember? Yes, it's not 3. Now, if you just joined in guys, please watch part 1. I have made a playlist, it's linked below in the description box because otherwise you'll be confused. Like, how are you going to attach what, where and mainly uh, my husband is confused. He was like, how are you going to do this? So, uh, watch part 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, it's fun. Um, and we are at episode 6. Now, I have 3 more projects. Yes, so it will be three more days. It's actually going to be a nine-parter, not a three-parter. So let me show you which part of this project I still need to do. Of course, we still need to do the closure flap thingy. I'm going to save this for last, of course. So, yes. And then we have the two file folders that we completely decorated. I am absolutely in love with this project, guys. Love it. So one here and one there. Yes. And now I need to do... The insides, sort of. Let's call them the insides. So, um, I have a plan for one of them. So, I'm going to choose one. There you go. Yeah. Is this... Yes, it's the first one. It's the left-hand side one. Um, here's my plan. I want to do sort of a big envelope that will sort of resemble a mailman bag. Well... It's inspired by a mailman bag. A big sort of pouch envelope that you can put stuff in. Yeah. And I want it to look like it's made from fabric. But it isn't. I am going to do a lot of experimenting in this. A lot of things outside of my comfort zone. I've been practicing a little bit. But, you know, it could go wrong at any moment. So, um, strap in. It's going to be an adventure. Let me show you uh, the supplies that I think I want to use for today. It is actually a lot. I'm going to start with papers. I'm going to use packaging material. Like the Amazon packaging material. Yeah. This. It might be sort of crinkly and wrinkly. And you know. This. So I'm going to make this look like sort of fabric. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, because I want to make it look like fabric. I'm going to sew it. What? Yes, I'm not going to take out my sewing machine. No, I'm going to hand stitch it. So I'm going to use this big ball of wall, sort of, I don't know, what's this called? I don't know, a spool? A spool of brown thin yarn, yeah? Um, I'm going to use a ruler, a pokey tool, and a big needle for sewing. Just, you know, decorative sewing, guys. Yeah. For the normal tools, I'm using glue, scissors, of course. Um, for the closure, I am, I'm debating if I'm going to use this. Because I've used the hem cord all along. Or I might use this. I don't know yet. Um, I'm going to do the circle closure. Because that's on everything. Except on the front, guys. For the real closure, I'm probably not going to do a circle closure thingy. Yeah? So, that is for the sewing part and the closure part. Now, I'm going to do some alcohol inking. What? Yes. Because I have these rings. I got this in Happy Mail. And these are going to be mainly decorative. Uh, but they're silver. And I want them to be a little bit grungy. So, I'm going to use some alcohol ink. I have my poof poof thingy. And, uh, well, I always use this when I do some alcohol inking. Unfortunately, I don't have any gloves anymore. So I need to be really, really careful. Otherwise, my nails will be done for. So alcohol inking. Yes. Uh, for gluing this on, I'm going to try my glue gun. So also a glue gun. Now, I'm going to be stamping, guys. Um, yes. Two different techniques. <laughs> okay. I have some gauze or compresses. <laughs> this came from a first aid kit. Um, I have a couple of first aid kits. Because you need to replace them every other well couple of years. And I never use them. Because I am no Florence Nightingale. I can put a band-aid on something. And call you a doctor. Um, so I had all of these left. Now these are very nice. If you coffee dye them or tea dye them. They are amazing. However I'm going to use them. In another sort of experiment. Yeah, I'm going to be stamping my big Stamp, number stamps because I hardly ever use them and they are absolutely fantastic uh, and I'm going to include this how? let's find out let's find out I don't know it's just a, an idea that I have and then 
for the stamping on the faux bag, faux fabric bag, I'm going to use finally uh, my ticking and grain stamp because I want this to make uh, to look like a grain sack or some ticking or what have you. So I'm going to use this stamp and my tool, my stamping tool. Now I've been experimenting with this, guys, because I am rubbish at, at this completely. <laughs> Because they need to line up. <laughs> and I didn't manage. Uh, tried everything. But you know. But I have a solution. Yes. Call MacGyver. I have a solution. Uh, because I'm going to be stamping on this sort of grayish um, uh, paper. Um, I'm going to use B Blue Bell from First Fine Claire. It's a little bit of a sort of a brighter color blue. But it turns out really nice on this gray one. So not as blue as this. Less blue. Yeah. What else? Uh, glue scissors, ruler, decorating. I'm going to be doing some decorating, but I don't know exactly what yet. But, you know, let's find out. And also, grunging. Grunging it up. Now, guys, for the folder itself, yes, I've put on an arrow this side up. Because I don't want this to be upside down. So, this is just for me. We are going to cover most of this, guys. Yes, I taped my bread legs. I've heard you guys. Yeah. Um, I'm going to do the grunching all around. Because the big pocket envelope thingy is going to be a tiny bit smaller than the file fold itself. So, I need two big pieces of paper. Now, I'm going to make them bigger than this is. Because we can trim them if we want to. And also I want to make sort of gussets in them. Uh, and, they, and they need to be straight. So I think I'm just going to take yay much off. For now, guys, for now. It's very important that you have at least one really straight edge to this, guys. Mainly because of the stamping that I'm going to do. Yeah? This is going to be um, the pocket. And then we need one for the flap. But let's start with the pocket part. Am I going to make this short? I'm just going to cut this. This is going to be folded in. So it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Now, um, before I do all the sewing, which is a lot of work, guys. I am going to try, try to do the stamping. If it doesn't work... I have lots more paper. <laughs> so, um, fingers crossed. Bear with me. I think I have it figured out. But let's just see. I'm going to finally use my ticking grain, stamp, uh, grain sack stamp. So, for the stamping. Yes, I have... Uh, I'm going to use this one. I, I don't know which one it is which. But this one with the double lines. Now, I'm going to film my struggles. It's going to be a struggle. But... Um, it's going to be fun either way. So I have my stamping tool. Here's what I want to do, guys. They're going. These are going to have gussets. This is going to be the big envelope. So I eventually will fold this in. Yes. I want to have like a, a well, a strip of the grain sack. Just one big strip, but not really at the edge. A little bit towards the center, but not really the center. Yeah. Well, you know, somewhere. Um. So I'm just lining this up. Make sure this is straight. I'm using my magnets to put this on. There you go. I should have four. I have not. I have no clue where the other pink one is. Yeah. And I think I want to have the stripes about here. Am I? I think I want these. One big one and two small ones. Yeah. No. <laughs> Change my mind. Okay. About here. Yeah? Now, here's the thing. I'm sort of going to line this up because I really want to have this straight. There are some lines on my mat and on the stamping tool. So I'm going to line these up because the lines underneath, to me, are much clearer, the white ones, than the sort of grayish ones. Now, I am no stamper. You probably, if you're a card maker or a stamper, you're like, oh no, what is she doing? I don't know, I have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm just going to line, I need to stand up for this, guys. I'm just going to line this up. Now, if this was a clear stamp, I'm going to 
do it a little bit lower. Um, this would be much, much easier. Well, in my opinion, because then I could see what I was actually doing. Yes, I'm probably going to do it wrong and then I'm going to do it again. So, yeah, and I'm going to say, no, this is the first time I'm trying it. I'm going to cheat. Okay, I just want to stamp this part, not the whole thing, just this one, yeah? So I'm not going to use the whole stamp. I'm sorry for the glare, guys, but it's my lighting. Okay. This would work much better if your project was much smaller. But I just wanted to have, you know, sort of a tall back. Sort of back. Okay. Here goes one. This is not the hard part. No, lining them up. up that's the hard part. Uh, it leaves a little bit on the top. That's okay because we're going to fold it anyway. Okay, here's one. Probably need to do it again. Yes. Because the paper is a little bit wrinkled. It will leave for some wrinkles, so hopefully. No! What did I do? Well, he did this. Well, I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I wasn't careful. So I'm actually going to take this next one. In the design as well. And it's okay if it's not really clear guys. Because it isn't actually supposed to be. Oh yeah. Well that even that looks even better. Yeah. So yeah. Now what I need to do is move this up. And then stamp it again. Now, I was, I was trying, guys, to really line them up. But that wasn't working. Careful, careful, careful. Moving it up. I will, I will, though. I will try to line them up. Because there's, there's grits on everything. And I already told you, the paper needs to be straight. Otherwise, it won't work. Keep that here, guys. Don't take that one off. Now, let's see. This line, there's also a mark here. So I'm just going to move it up. I'm going to use my ruler. Let's see where we are because my eyes are rubbish. A little bit lower. They will overlap for sure. So you will see sort of a double stamp. And also because... This is not really, the top doesn't sort of match the bottom because it's a little bit wonky. But hey, we're going to try anyway. We're going to try anyway, guys. Yes? Is this it? Oh, I'm hoping it'll work. Otherwise, I have to do it again. That's okay, because guess what? I have loads of Amazon packaging. <laughs> No. I should have taped it. I know. I should have. But I didn't. That's okay. I'm just going to take a small piece of this paper. And try to remove it. it. Needs more ink here. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing, guys. Yes, let's just see. It does look like it lines up. There's a magnet here. Will that be a hinder? Doesn't. <laughs> 
That's okay, because I have a solution. I have a solution. Yes. Let's see if we can fix this wrinkly bit here in the middle. I have my hockey puck thing, right? Yes. My air hockey puck thing. Well, it is what it is. Okay, so you're wondering, how am I going to fix it? Ta-da. <laughs> I'm just going to put a lovely label over it. Some decorating here. And now it just looks like it matched up. Right? Well, it should. So I'm just going to put something over it. Yeah? Okay, now let's start folding the sort of envelope. Let's call it the envelope thingy, guys. I want this to be the top, these, the sides, and then the bottom. Um, I'm going to do the bottom first. I'm just going to flip this over. It's going to be the bottom part. Yes. And then I need to make big gusset here. Big ones. Is it straight? You need to have it straight, love. You, can, you cannot just start folding stuff. Straight, straight. Would be lovely. There you go. See? Oh, yeah. And this is going to go here. And then also on the other side. This is going to be the envelope, sack, whatever thingy. I am going to probably um, make sort of a rounded entrance, guys. Like, sort of a big notch. Big notch here. But, I'm going to do that a little bit later. Now, uh, we need to cut some stuff off. The square here on the bottom. At an angle... This one at an angle here. Yeah. Same on the other side. Yep. Okay. I'm going to leave the entrance for now because I want to do some stitching. I want to do some stitching all around. Yes, that is going to take me a lot of time. So I'm going to do a little bit and then the rest of camera. But let me show you what I've come up with for the stitching. I think I'll sort of demonstrate the bottom part. But the bottom needs to be stitched and then these two sides. So here's what I'm doing, guys. I have this foam thingy. I'm going to fold it in. Like so. Have it straight. Well, it doesn't need to be straight. And I'm going to take out my ruler. Yeah. Um, mine has centimeters and inches. Um, it doesn't really matter what you use. Just sort of, um, you need to have it straight. And you need to punch holes with the same sort of interval. Yeah. Does that make any sense? So... I'm just going to remove it about one, um, a little bit over one eighth of an inch, almost a quarter of an inch um, from the edge. Have this straight. And then I'm going to start punching some holes. Uh, I'm using my centimeter. So uh, this is actually half a centimeter or you do a quarter of an inch or even bigger. If you want to have sort of... Um, Bigger parts in between. I don't know what to call it, guys. I am not a seamstress. I don't sew. <laughs> I'm just making it up as we go. So have them as sort of the same intervals. Yeah? Doesn't really need to be lobbies. I'm not even doing it. I'm like, oh, a little bit here, there. Try to. Um, why am I doing this? Because I really want this to be straight. My sewing is, is rubbish. If your sewing is okay, you don't even need to make the holes. I just want to make the holes as sort of a mark where I want to sort of stitch. 
otherwise it, it would be all over the place, honestly. I was looking for some blue yarn, um, but I don't have, yeah, well, I have very heavy, heavy duty blue, blue yarn. So, well, brown it is, brown it is, yeah? Okay, so I punched all the holes. You can do it precise, precise. I just, you know, sort of eyeballed it. Let's have a needle. I don't need the biggest one. I'm going to do this one piece of my brown yarn yep needle threader that'll be lovely see guys needle threader a very important tool to have put it on your Christmas list there you go okay I'm um, just gonna start somewhere here now I'm not gonna do a zig a, a the stitch the I don't even know, know what's called, guys. I know Dutch names, but I don't know the English name. What What's going on? What's going on? Yarn, please. Work with me. Well, uh, no. It doesn't want to work with me. A no to this. So I'm just taking out a new piece. Why did it do this? Maybe because it was too big, love. Well, let's try this again. Hopefully it works this time. Otherwise, I need to get out some new yarn. But it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm not tying a knot on the bottom, guys. Because I want to actually tie um, this piece and this piece together in a knot. Are we doing okay now? We are. I'm just going to sort of sew over the, over the flap, over the top. I'm just going to do a little bit. Yeah. You don't need me to see me sew the whole thing. No, that'll be boring. Just for a couple of inches. So you see sort of the effect it has. And this is merely decorative. If you have a sewing machine that does this, by all means, use your sewing machine. Why don't you? Also, if you're doing this trick, guys, don't pull it tight, tight. Yes, because we don't want the, page, uh, the paper to rip. We just want this to be like a lovely, oh, I'm sorry, nick the camera, a decorative edge. Could you not have done this on a smaller project? Did you need to make like the this ginormous envelope to do this? Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> just a couple stitches more just to show you. I'm going to do it all around. Oh, it does it does look really really cool cool I really like it and the punching the holes just you know gives me a better sort of sense of direction where am I going how far apart but that might might, might be second nature to you it's not to me see it's going to look like this Cute, right? Yes. Well, I'll see you in an hour or so. <laughs> I'm going to do the same. I'm going to sort of stitch all of this, leave the thread hanging, um, do it on this side as well and on this side. However, um, no, it's going to be okay because we're not going to tie it off. Don't tie it off at the, at the top, guys, because I don't know if I want to make it shorter or longer. I have no clue. So, sewing hour for me. I'll see you in a bit. Took me a little while, but I'm very pleased with the result. Isn't it cute? I just love it. Uh, I used too short of a piece here and too long of a piece here. It's going to be fine. I have no clue how to attach this, but you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then I just uh, tied a knot on the bottom. I'm going to leave these hanging because of cute. Okay, uh, we also need to make the flap. But for first, what I want to do is um, I'm going to... Alcohol dye these. Yes. How am I going to use them? I am going to put them here on the bottom. For some reason, these sort of big burlap sacks have these on them. Well, actually punched through. I'm not going to punch them through. I just want to have them as decorating and I'll probably have some numbers on the inside. Now, if you don't have these guys, no worries. Just, you know, 
make lovely circle decorating or what have you. I don't even know what these are for. Probably curtain rings or they look like washers for I don't I don't know. I don't know. I have no gloves. I have caramel alcohol ink and um smolder. Smolder? Mm -hmm. Smolder. You need to shake them, right? Was it like you need to shake them like this? Can't even remember. Um, I hardly ever use this. This is alcohol ink and alcohol pearl. No clue. So I do have my ink dauber. Yes, sort of piece of felt. I'm using this to sort of move it around. Something metal. And maybe I want to do the poofy thing. I don't know. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm going to try one first. I'm going to try one first. Will it open? Yes, it will. It's been a while since I've used these. Go up, up. Everything is going into the rings, of course. Yes. Also going to do a little bit of sort of blue-ish or greenish blue. Oh, that's pearl. It's actually sort of... Oh, that's cool. That's glitter in. <laughs> it's almost like it's, it's sparkling everywhere. Let's see. Does this work? The poofy thing. Oh, it really sort of does. Yes, poofy thing. There you go. I want to poof it everywhere. Oh, this works. A little bit more over here, poofy thing. Can we do a little bit more of the sparkly? Alcohol pearl. Didn't even know it was pearl. Oh, that's a lot of alcohol pearl. <laughs> Can you see it on camera? It's. Oh, I'm going to zoom you in, guys, in. Yeah, it's like, it's sort of sparkling everywhere. <laughs> now, I'm already doing this because we need to let them dry, guys. There were some bits... We're not colored yet. Yeah. Poof, 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 poof. Yeah. Well, looks way better, doesn't it? Yes. So I'm going to do that with these ones as well. And then I really need to let them dry. I'm hoping the glue gun will glue it. Do we need sparkles? We need sparkles. And way more brown. Or caramel. Or caramel. I don't know. How you do you pronounce it? I don't pronounce it. I eat it. <laughs> well, not the alcohol ink, but the real caramel. I love that. Poof, 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 poof. Yeah. And the last one. Brown, brown, brown. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Oh my gosh. Boo! <laughs> Careful of. Don't splatter it anywhere. Everywhere. It's on my desk now. Let me quickly get something to 
Well, it was on my mat. I can probably remove it with alcohol. Or also, I've bought myself a new mat. Yes, treated myself. They do look great. This, this is the one that om that's almost dry. I'm hoping that these will dry the same as this one. If not, I'm going to sort of re-alcohol ink them. But I like them. I like them. So I'm going to let these dry, guys. Now let's focus on uh, the flap. Let's do the flap, guys. I distressed, inked, grunged, made it look lovely. Yeah. So this is going to be the envelope. I already decided I'm going to have it yay high. I am. I wanted to make sort of an something. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it as is. However, I will I will glue it down. Yeah, to sort of reinforce it. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, the flap. The flap. I have cut down a piece of paper. The exact same size. Yes, it is a little bit shorter. But it's going to be even shorter. Now, how am I going to go about this? Oh, probably... It needs to be in here for one. Yes, a little bit lower. Yeah. And then I am going to fold it over, but not on this uh, to this line, guys. I'm going to fold it over. Like so, leaving a little bit of room on the top. So when you open it up, see you have a uh, lots of room to put stuff in. Yeah, okay, so that is the first fold. Is it long enough now? Before I really fold it. Oh yeah, I'm going to have the flap yay high. Okay. Now, what I could do is just make it round corners or do whatever, but I want to have like a, like a pyramid shape, sort of triangle shape of sort of flap but not all the way to the edges i think from here from this point first i need to find the middle the center i don't need this anymore bye bye see you later yeah i'm going to find the center of this piece of paper I'm just gonna sort of fold it see that is the center i'm going to turn it over now i am going to fold this oh that's actually pretty good I'm going to fold it in like so. Yes, then we have this piece and fold this in like so. Some origami for you. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see, yeah. Do we want it shorter or longer? Because there's going to be a label here. I'm gonna uh, take out my pretend label. That is going to be here. And then there's going to be... I've already cut some circles. I can only find one. One here and one here. Is that two sort of near each other? No, I think it will be fine. I think it will be fine. Okay. So before I glue these down, um, I want to attach the circle closure thingy, right? Yeah. So I'm not gluing it down yet. However, I am sewing. I am sewing here, 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 here and here. Just all around the flap. I'm not going to sew here on the inside. No. What else am I doing? A little bit of stamping. Yes. Let's do the stamping first. So stamping. The next experiment for today. Yeah. Um, what I want to do is give my stamp a little bit of texture. That's why I'm using this. But I don't know if it will work because I have not tried it. Let's take out uh, number two. Number two. Here's what I'm doing. I have this sort of gauze or cheesecloth or something. I'm going to sort of put it over my stamp. Yes. And then, I'm hoping this works, guys. I'm going to stamp... See? 
it looks like it's sort of, you know, cloth or gauze. Let me try that again. Yes! See, it gives it a little bit of texture. I just thought it was interesting. And also, bonus, uh, you have some lovely stamps on here that you could use. Yeah? So, yes. Yay, it works. It works. Now, let's see. Here's my flap. Here's my flap. This is my envelope. I'm going to have the rings that are dry and lovely grungy. Love them. Now, I have three, but I might do two because I think it may be a bit much. So, I'm thinking about doing two and then maybe one on the top. Yes. Um... So I have, sort of have three or four numbers here, like seven, four, zero, five on the top. Yeah. Okay. Now hopefully I can sort of align them. That, that'll be fantastic, right? Yeah. How are you going to do that? Because I'm no good at this. How? How? You're going to do them all at once. Can I? Oh, maybe I can. I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. Okay. Let's see. Taking out my piece of gauze. Putting them all in. Wrapping it up. Make sure they're in a, a line, in a perfect sort of line. Are they? Was this maybe a stupid idea? We're trying. We're trying. Stamping, stamping. Please stay in one line, all of y'all. There we go. And then we do this. You have never seen this sort of stamping, have you? <laughs> no, I'm going to do them one at a time. <laughs> However, this piece of cloth is going to be <laughs> fantastic. Right? Yes. Put it on a journal cover or what have you. But I'm going to do... Um, we're going to start with five at the end. Just going to start at the end. Maybe you could sort of use the lines here to do something. Yeah. I'm just going to put them on. The five. Yeah, let's do a four. Oh, I'm hoping it's sort of in a straight line. Hmm. Okay, not mad. <laughs> Leaves a lovely print. Does it sort of second hand stamp as well? It does. Oh, that's also cool. Sort of a negative. Put on a zero. Yep. And then of course a seven. Because it needs to have a seven. I like it. I like it. Let's see. How does it look? Yep. Have one here. Have two here. Closure. Sewing. Now, I might need to do some more decorating here with a label or a post stamp or whatever. But I do like this idea. 
Look at this with all the numbers. Oh, it's amazing. I love it. Love it. Okay, guys. Now, uh, I'm going to do the sewing trick again. You see me do this. So I'm going to punch my holes. This is single layer, so be careful. Punch my holes and then sew all around it. So let me do this. I'll be right back. I sort of stopped halfway through because I, I think I want to have the this print sort of, yeah, sort of continue there. It's going to be tricky. Yeah, it's going to be really tricky. Um, how am I going to do this? Sort of mark it. I think I'm gonna. It's the the stamp is clean, clean guys. Put it on here. I'm lining it up like so. Yes. No, it needs to go all the way to the bottom, guys. Yeah. Doesn't really need to be really precise, right? Okay. Then I'm taking out this one. Yes. Putting underneath another piece of paper because we do not, and I repeat, do not want to stamp on my stamping tool. Yes. Hoping this works. Otherwise, I have to do it all over again. But it'll work. It's going to work. It's just going to work. Okay. Yes. On the right size. Don't ink on that part. Oh, I also need a little piece of uh, something on the top. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm stamping on my tool. And we don't want this. Yes. Do we have another scrap piece? Yeah. We have this. Am I doing it the right way? Oh. Well, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Oh, I'm so I'm hoping this works. Otherwise, I have to do it all over again. Uh, where's my hockey puck thing? Yes, let's do the hockey puck. Now, I'm hoping my brain worked. Did it? Did. But it needs a little bit more... Here. It's probably because there's a couple of wrinkles in there. Okay. Yeah. Let's take it off and see the, if it's still aligned. I'm hoping it's still aligned. It must. Otherwise, crying. <laughs> well, at least I'm going to be sad. Let's see. Because we can wiggle this around a little bit, guys. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yes. Yes, it worked. I'm so happy, so happy. Okay, well, I'm going to let it dry for a bit. And then I'm going to sew all around. Also, guys, I am not going to sew on the top. No, oh, look, inky fingers. Uh, because otherwise, uh, we cannot really... It's not a running stitch. It's like a wraparound stitch. I have no clue what I'm saying, guys. So I'm not going to um, stitch on the top. Just these two sides. So let me do this. I am very pleased. Yes, I made a bow. It's a little bit too cute for Gunter, maybe, but... Not to, well, not for me. Um, my string ended here. So, and then I started from the top. What was I going to do? Make a bow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. So, um, more decorating on a flap. I want to use one of those rings. I'm going to put it here. Yeah. But I want to put something behind it. Now, I was thinking numbers, but more numbers. Yes, well, you could do more numbers. I'm probably going to do a little bit more numbers here on the bottom. But let's find out later. Um... I think I want to put something behind here. Yes, attach it to a piece of paper and then attach that to the project. Yeah, but what do we want behind here? Well, I've taken out this is a small pouch with sort of ephemera pieces from various uh, digital kits. Most of it probably from Michelle to Junction Studio. Oh, this is already blue. 
I was thinking just to put something blue behind here. Yes. See? Like so. Just like so. How am I going to cut it? Um, where's my pencil? I'm just going to draw all around it. Now, I am rubbish with cutting out circles. I've already tried, guys. This is not one and a half inch. The middle, I will sort of get away with a one inch circle punch. But I really need it to be uh, bigger too in order for me to glue it on correctly. Or cut it correctly and glue it correctly. So I'm going to cut the circle out. I am rubbish at cutting circles. It needs to be in inside of the lines and it doesn't need to be you know pretty it does not need to be pretty at all so just sort of cutting a circle see not pretty well that's okay is it too big to glue on no ha oh, like it it is sticking out a little bit over here, so I need to trim it a little bit more. I think it's much easier to glue this piece of paper with, uh, with my glue gun on the ring. Yes, and then glue the paper on here. Will it look good? Let's just try it out. Will it look good? Oh, it will look fantastic even. Okay. Hoping this will work. Let me get Drippy. Drippy is my glue gun, for those of you who may not know. Um, I love it. It looks like a big drill from Parkside. Yeah. I'm going to put glue on here and then hoping it will stick. Also hoping Drippy is in the mood today. Go green. Yes, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, this is metal. It will probably get really hot. Oops, that was the big part. Oh, Han, your nails, your nails. No, your nails. Oh my gosh, I'm ruining my nails. <laughs> be careful, be careful. I like this glue gun. The only thing is... Um, the glue dries really, really quickly. And also, this metal ring is getting really, really hot. Let's see. Please glue. Did I ruin my nails? Probably did. Probably did. Is it stuck? It is. It is. So it does work. Yeah. I need to trim here a little bit more. Oh, it looks cool. It looks cool. Let me find uh, two more of these pieces for the envelope itself. Let's see if we can find any more in here. We could do this. It says autumn, but you won't see autumn. I would love to have something in blue. A man on a bicycle. Hmm. Mushrooms. Ooh, a clock. Is this too small? Oh, a clock. Oh, that is so cool. I, I'm, I'm hoping it's big enough. It's in black. More mushrooms. Oh, I love this image. Oh, this is also cool. Oh, that could work. That could work. Something else bluish. How about this? I'm thinking this. Yeah, I think I like this. So I'm going to cut it out. Smaller than I did with the first one, so... Yes, this one. And I want to I think I want to do the clock, guys, if I can find it. Now the clock is um I'm gonna take a piece of this. I'm just gonna glue the clock on a bigger piece. Yeah? 
and then glue it on. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. They're done and they're cool, but to me they're missing something. <laughs> I actually really wanted to have some acetate in between or something to give it a little bit more of shine or something. So I have a Nouveau Crystal Glaze clear adds clear dimension detail to your craft i don't know guys i might i might ruin this i might ruin this but i'm gonna try i'm just gonna put some in the middle yes and then sort of i'm wetting my finger and do not put it on the alcohol just sort of in the center Needs to dry. Needs to dry. Do another one. Just a drop in the center. Big blob. Big blob. And then spreading it out with my finger. I think it's going to look nice, but it takes a while to dry this. So in the meantime, we're going to do some more decorating and the closure. And then we're going to glue these on. But I think it's going to look cool. Right? Well, I'm hoping so. If not, if not, experiment failed. But I think it's going to be okay. Okay, let's let them dry. While the circles are drying, I need to find the label here. So I've taken out Ephemera Pack Keepsakes. Keepsakes. Um, because you know, I've never used this, probably. And let's see, I just want something here and maybe something here and here. And probably something on the top. Just some small... Oh, this is airmail. So I'm already happy with this. What is this? Ha 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 ha! That is the perfect blue color. Oh, also this. Lots of blues in here. Do we want to add this here? And then the circles are also going to be there. But we could do this. I was thinking, guys, maybe we could do like the circle thingy. Put this on here. Like so. And wrap it all around. I really like this bit. Maybe it's a little bit too much of the blue. I don't know. Fragile. Handle with care. Do not bend. Do not drop. Something here. A bit higher, some sort of faux poster stamps. Oh, oh, what is? What is this? Oh, perfect! Then, well, that's perfect. There you go. Yes, thank you. Going to have this here. Yep, I really like this. I might put it in another corner. Somewhere we need something red on the top. Ooh, very small. Well, that maybe is too small. Do we have something that's bigger? Oh, yes, airmail. It's going to cover up the five then. Or not if we do it like so. Don't know, don't know. Ooh, special delivery. And that's way smaller. Already says airmail here. Yeah. Oh, how about we add a little bit of red on here? Yes. Yes. And we need another circle here. Are you going to use another one or just a circle circle? I think I might just add the circle. Yeah? 
I'm going to ink all of these up, guys. Yeah. And then we're going to glue stuff down. I'm going to keep sort of the closure for a little bit later. I glued this one on. And this one and this one. But not these yet. Because I also need to fix the envelope for a little bit. A tiny bit. I'm going to, going to show you in a second. But first let's do the closure. I just punched out two pieces of... This is just a corrugated cardboard. Yes, from a very thin box. Very heavy. So I don't need to sort of layer it up. And then I had this piece. And I just cut out... Because I had two of these. Um, two pieces of paper. Because why not? Why not? Let's just put glue on here. Line them up. Yep. Oops. And I will sort of ink them. Brown espresso. Nice and dark. Yeah, one is going to go here and one is going to go there. We need to punch the middle. I'm hoping this is the middle. Well, it is now. I'm using the same brads as I did on all the other projects I've did in this um, file folder thingy. Yeah. Oh, do we need to? Yes, we need it to be raised a little bit. So I'm just going to take out a couple of hole reinforcers. Just two random ones. Gluing them together. Because we need a little bit of room on the back side. To pull the string underneath here. Yeah? Like so. Yep. Going to attach the first one. On the envelope. Stay there. Where's my foam thing? Is that the middle? Well, it is now. See, it's in between here. That's why I did not glue them down yet. Uh, the one with the holes. Yes, that's here. Oh, needs bigger, needs to be bigger. These are big brats. Yes. Through here. See, opening this up so you don't need tape. Smart, right? Yes. Okay, and now I'm going to glue these down. Just put glue there and there. Oops, do not put glue on your fingers. Just needs a bit. See? No more legs to bother us. Well, there's one. And the other one. I'm going to attach. Here. Is it in the middle? Is it sort of straight? They're going to have a big piece in between, but that's okay. I think that's going to look nice. Line it up. Yes. So, I'm going to put whole reinforcers on, and then I'm going to attach it here. Both of them are on. Yes. Uh, we glued over this, and I put... Yes, guys, I put tape, tape, tape over this. Now, I need to fix the top, because I could just simply glue it down... But I made these so that there's going to be a little bit more room in the pocket. Yeah? So what I actually need to do is make some snippies. I'm going to snip here at an angle. And I'm going to take this off. Yeah? 
can we sort of fix this I actually even need to do this I guess because this actually needs to go underneath which it will not do because I've sewn here I'm gonna fix this oh yeah I'm gonna fix it fix it like so <laughs> I did not take that in con into consideration, guys. Yes, because this needs to be glued underneath. Yeah. So, what did we do? We did this. Um, this. And this. Yes, because this needs to be underneath and this needs to be over it. This is going to be tricky, but... Oh no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Okay guys, I am just gluing. I'm using uh, just glue stick. The flap down. Do not put glue... On your project, no. Underneath here. Because actually these parts are made to extend the pocket a little bit if you put something in. It gives it a little bit more room, right? Yeah. And then this needs to be also glued down. But for this I'm going to do art glitter glue. Or belly art glue. This is belly art. Tuck it underneath. Far from perfect, I know. But cute nonetheless. Yeah. Okay, so we fixed it. This needs to go there. And this needs to go here. So I'm going to leave a little bit of room in between these two. If we glue this down, we're not going to glue it down yet. Uh, yes, I'm going to do this with normal glue stick. Because that gives us the opportunity to move it about a little bit. Yes, it's actually perfect. Is it straight? Let's see. Yes, it is straight. So this one is on. That is the flap. Yes, I think I want to cover this up. I've already because you know you can see some of the stamping through. It's because of the paper. Yep. One of these. And some of this. Okay. And now I'm going to put glue here, here and here. And that will give the pocket a little bit more room. Make it into sort of a pouch thing. Just add glue. There we go. Lining it up. Are we good? Well, make sure these line up. Yes. There we go. Yes. Yes. Oh, almost finished, guys. Um, I'm, I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use the brown for the closure thingy. But first, let me glue on all these lovely sort of little snippets that I made. Yeah. And then for the circles. 
I think it looks awesome. I used the, the brown string to do the whatever. I'm going to have this one here with the blue. They're not really, really dry yet, but I'm going to have this one here. I think I can manage with just um, belly art glue because we're just going to glue the paper on, not the metal. It's a little bit bumpy because of the nouveau glaze. I'm just going to put this on. Cannot press in the middle because guess what? They're not dry yet. <laughs> then I want to put these here. However, I'm missing something here. So before I put this on, I want to stamp something here. So I've taken out correspondence address only. I'm going to do it in the blue. Now hopefully this will work because it's been glued on then it's bumpy and it'll work love it'll work just you know just press it there we go it worked is that enough where's my other circle oh here um put the 12 on top yes see i'm gonna put these two here and i also have this Like so. Does it need to touch? Of course it needs to touch. Let's have this one on first. There you go. Via ML and then these. There we go. Try to line them up. Yep. Let me see if I can sort of push it from the bottom. Because <laughs> I cannot press in the center. It's still a little bit wet. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. I'm missing something here. It's sort of peeking out here. So... I have this tag. Do we want to add? No. No, no. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Are we done? I think we're done, guys. Let's look at the end result. Well, lots of experimenting on in this project, but everything turned out pretty nice. Yes, for a first attempt. Really, really cool. Let me show you guys. Yes, it's a, a big sort of envelope. Um made from amazon pack packaging material sort of made to look like fabric doesn't really but nonetheless i love it love the ticking or the grain uh sack stamping yeah and then we did this trick and we did, oh, we did we did lots we did lots yeah we open up like so there you go yeah and actually see there's a lot of room in here there's a lot of room in here uh, because I made these big gussets, so you can fill her up. Yeah, completely. So, big, big envelope. Big envelope, and with lots of decorating. I really like how this turned out. Great, right? It looks more like, well, I don't know if you can see it on camera. It looks more like crackle now than just, you know, but crackle. Crackle is okay. We like crackle. Yeah. So, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back again uh, Monday. I'll be back again this Monday with another project. I'm going to do uh, the other half of this Monday. And then Wednesday, we're going to do the closure because Friday, next Friday, it's my turn for the Christmas collab from Rachel and Bella. So yes, have a fantastic weekend and I will see you all this Monday. Until then, bye guys.